Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at an old brand, but it's been revived and brought back, and it's now under the hands of the My Father Cigars. This is the new Fonseca. from Cuba, Fonseca. Of course, there are Fonseca humans out there. Now, this is the Cedrus, the only one of the remade, revamped, reimagined Fonseca cigars that have a cedar sleeve, uh, six and a quarter by 52. Oops, I guess we'll have to turn it around like that if you want to read it. But uh, the Fonseca band uh, that uh, my father is using is very nice. Now let's just take this sleeve off. Slides right off. There we are. So there's what the CRX looks like. Now they call this, I saw it written where this is a dark shade grown Corojo. That's not dark. I mean, if anything, that's very Connecticut looking, isn't it? <laughs> it definitely is. It's a golden wrapper but regardless that's what it is six and a quarter by 52 is this size um eleven dollars that's what they're asking for this uh suggested retail price we got the density right there it is so let's just get right to it formerly made by the quesada family now made by the uh, my father family all nicaraguan all the tobacco grown on the garcia farms so let's get right to it the new fonseca cedros all right here we go oh that's an excellent draw that is an excellent. Hmm. Well, there's a light cedary citrus, some brown sugar. Quite a bit of an orange peel. Back to those again. Very earthy. Nutmeg and earthy black coffee. Black pepper at about seven and a half. Pretty good. So that's how you start. The way the cigar comes across initially like this right here. It's sort of a mild cigar. If you remember, I don't think Fonseca's originally were much of a powerhouse. So I think this may be following in the traditions of that original brand. That's how you start. You're going to notice a lot of accentuation on 
that orange peel we had that, that that is toned down because it has a little bit of sweetness and then the earthy black coffee and nutmeg so that's how you start see what happens next Here at the first third, and the uh, the cedar citrus is lead flavor is a little hard to find. It's there, but it's hidden pretty well. There is some brown sugar. There is that orange peel. There is now bitterness, some bitterness attached to that also, and that can happen with orange peel. The nutmeg is still earthy the black coffee is still earthy medium bodied the finish is actually a little bitter there's some this this it's really that orange some of that orange peel bitterness and nutmeg decent lingering black pepper but the, I'm not a fan of the orange peel when it overtakes the cigar and i'm not a fan of bitterness um first third i'm going to start this cigar off at 88 because i'm not sure if we're going to you know continue this route but it's 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 a little too much orange peel and now the bitterness is not helping so anything can happen it could be just ramping up so let's see what happens in the second third End of the second third. It's burning pretty evenly. I tell you one thing, it's not getting out of the medium category. But it has slightly improved. The bitterness is still there, but it's somewhat decreased in the brown sugar and cedar now. Slightly increased. The nutmeg appears to be very creamy now. Smooth. Earthy black coffee. Orange peel is not as bitter. Not as bitter. But the cigar, it really improved. finish is really unchanged but I look at a cigar when I rate it like if I picked it up right now just right here and it tastes like this what would I rate it for me the second third is 90 is at that point where I can smoke that flavor those flavors again because it has just a touch of bitterness and the orange peel you're going to have that with it I believe at any level but uh, the sweet notes have increased enough that it makes it okay. So two inches left. Let's see what the final third brings. Right now it's okay. down to the end so let's wrap it up well here we have the classic pyramid shaped score where started out one point got better in the middle and pretty much came back to where it was at the beginning at the end bitterness came back the enjoy the enjoyability of the cigar matched where it was in the first third I still get the cedar and the brown sugar, but the 
and the orange peel is somewhat decreased, but the bitterness is still there. And that's, it, it, it's just not going to do well with me if it's, if it's got any of that in there. Now, I do wonder if these cigars will mellow out the bitterness with time, but I don't do that. When a cigar hits the market, it should be ready to go. If you got to age it, then I'm not interested. I don't know who is. I mean, if you buy cigars with the intention to let them sit there for a year, and then you're going to try them, you're beyond me. I'm not interested in that. But I would put it back at 88 for the final third. It's real close to being good. It's just not quite there. So the overall score is 88.67. And that's exactly where I think it ought to be. Based on my scoring system, it's in this right there. Still medium bodied. I mean, it's just, it's not a powerful cigar. It, it has flashes of flavors, but then that bitterness and that orange peel just sort of take away. So there you have it. The new... Fonseca Cedrus, now made by my father's cigars. So there's some hope there, but for me, 88.67.